Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Journeys. Hey, uh, today I wanted to do a video that people keep on asking about. Everybody wants to, everyone wants to hear more details about uh, our wedding day, mine and Kyle's wedding day. Um, and I wanted to share some photos with you guys, share some funny stories with you guys, and kind of just tell you how the, tell you how the event went out. Um, anyways, uh, in the beginning of it, uh, or the night before the wedding, we ended up just having dinner with some family. We had um, a really early night. It was really casual. It was really nice. Um, we pretty much went to bed at nine o'clock and got up early the next day because it was Sunday, the morning of the wedding. Um, we ended up going to where we held the ceremony and it was a beautiful golf course or country club. And it, with a nice, uh, with a beautiful, beautiful building, nice balconies, it was, it was lovely. You guys will see in the photos that I'm gonna post throughout the video here uh, of us and just, you'll see the scenery, it's, it's really beautiful there. Way too hot, but really beautiful. Um, so the morning, we had all this time set up for pictures. We had a professional photographer come in and take pictures. Um, all the ones you guys will see, they were like an hour long of us sweating to death in 100 degree weather, but it was great and we'll forever remember them. Um, it, then we also sat there and kind of put the like final touches on things with flowers, tables and stuff like that and just make sure that everything's ready before all the regular guests start coming because at this point, only family and like the best men were there. And we had a really small wedding party. It was just, I mean, me and Kyle, where we each had uh, two best men and that was it. I mean, we didn't have anything else. Um, we did have a matron, or a matron, the person that takes care of stuff at the wedding. We have that one. Uh, but that was pretty much it. So after the photos, after we did like the final prep things, you know, people started to come in. Um, and at this point, this was more of just the family that was coming in. And then the ceremony was ready to start. It was an early afternoon ceremony. We had a wine and mimosa bar beforehand. So everyone was having fun. And, um, we had a very small, intimate, quiet, uh, short, it was only a 10 minute long ceremony. Um, you guys will see in the photos, it looks like I have one less best man than Kyle does. That's because my best man steps forward to officiate the ceremony um, per plans. And it, so that's kind of why it looks funny, but there, there was a big reason to it. Um, it was a lovely, a lovely ceremony though. We could not have asked for anything better. Uh, the sun was shining, everybody was happy, everyone was Thrilled, everyone was falling. It was great. I was trying to keep it together, but it wasn't working so well. Um, <laughs> after that, we kind of invited everyone back inside to start the reception, and we held it there. At that point, all of our friends, everybody, everybody that we knew, started to come in, and it turned into what we thought was only going to be like an 85-person reception into like a 250-person reception because people that we didn't think were going to come ended up coming and. Then they brought other people, and then they they brought people, and then and we had an open bar, and well, it, was, it was it was expensive, but it was fun. <laughs> so we had a plethora of people there. We had it was it was nonstop hugs and hellos, and uh, we had it was more than what we could have asked for. We had lovely food, lovely drinks all night. Um, it was funny because we had uh, my best friend Zoe and her boyfriend Tommy were gonna come let the dog out and they <laughs> they came over here to my house and they somehow lost their spare key and then couldn't get in and 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 or they had to scale a balcony wearing a tuxedo and a dress Tommy and Zoe wearing a tuxedo and a dress it scale a balcony and over a handrail and yeah, my neighbors probably thought that was a really interesting sight, but they got inside and they let the dog out. Um, so that's a that's a funny one that I wish I would have recorded. <laughs> but um, we had it was uh, after the after the reception we had it was really casual. It was super nice. We ended up just going home and starting to open up all our gifts, all of our presents, and reading all of our cards and starting to note down all of our who we owe thank you cards to and everything that people got us so we can remember it for years to come. Uh, really, it was just, it was a fun time. Um, we didn't go on an immediate, like we didn't go on a honeymoon right away. We ended up going um, on what we called a mini moon and a mini moon. Uh, it was just like, we went to a friend's 
uh, Chicago condo for a weekend and went to Boys Town, we went to nice restaurants, we walked everywhere, we shopped everywhere, it was, it was fun. Uh, we had a great time there. We are planning on doing like a bigger honeymoon, but we just haven't had time to really figure out when, where, really to plan it. Uh, we kind of want to do a bigger one, like go to Europe or something fun. I've always wanted to go visit that side, um, that side of the world. And so we'll try and narrow that down here shortly. But otherwise, besides that, we're going to Mexico next week or next month. Um, so we're kind of content right now. Um, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to tell you how my wedding day went. Now we've been married for uh, about six months and we love it. We're building a house, we're building a family. Um, we are building a community. We have a lovely area we live in and tons of friends and family and neighbors who all care so much about each other. It's great. Um, just tons of little things to be thankful for. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the photos that I post throughout the video. Other than that, I will talk to you soon. Thanks.